Hello everyone, I'm Melinda Nell, fanatic with Love, Peace and Happiness Tarot in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this is the Chinese Zodiac mid-month update for the sign of the monkey. So let's see what are the messages coming out for the monkey. We're going to do a general spread, then we'll do a romantic spread, and we'll close out with a rune. Okay, so let's see what is the message for those with the sign of the monkey. What's the general situation? It flips right over. You've got the wheel of fortune, and it's saying cycles are coming to an end. Any old karmic cycles are coming to an end. You are experiencing something that's com major coming to an end in your life. It's something that you have to walk away from, and in walking away from it, you choose to walk away from it because you know that there is not any more love there. The love is gone. Um, and so you got to choose to walk away to something where there is some love in the situation for you, something that feels fulfilling, something that feels satisfying, something that feels better. And so you're in that energy right now. How are you feeling about all of this? Well, you've got the magician. You know that you actually have a lot of power in this situation. And so I feel like you're the one bringing to an end these um, relationships or the situations in your life. Somebody's ending a job. Somebody's ending a relationship. Somebody's ending a friendship. And somebody's just ending this really uh, weighty uh, belief that you had before by owning your power. You're feeling very powerful at this time. What's something that the monkeys need to know about the situation, Love Source God? What is something that the monkeys need to know at this time? What is, okay, here's what the monkeys need to know. You need to know that your intuition is going to guide you, and there's a lot of stuff that you still have not come to understand, but at, in owning your power, you're going to bring information to you. You're going to bring it out. And when you first look at it, I don't think you're going to recognize it for what it is. I think that at first you're going to think it's something else. And once you stop and take time, you're going to see um, that this is actually something from your past that keeps coming up. And if you can let that be in the past and not bring it into your now, so as you keep trying to move forward in the situation, monkey, there's some old past thing that keeps coming back. And so what is your best course of action? For somebody, you're ending a relationship with someone from your past because you feel like I've, um, somebody, okay, yeah, somebody from your past came back and you're like, no, I, I can't do this again because it just, I've already learned I'm a whole different person. I'm in a whole new world. I'm a whole new headspace. And so I'm not going to reopen that door anymore. So the advice for you is the star. Keep following your internal guidance system. Keep believing. Keep having faith. And remember that you are blessed and safe and protected through all of the changes that are happening in your life. That as you step, the universe conforms itself around you to put your um, to put your footsteps in line with your highest, lightest, and brightest. Good. So you have the sun at the bottom of the deck, and it's reminding you that everything is actually working out for you. And what you need to know, you're going to learn. And what has been kept hidden from you or what you were confused about, you're going to get really clear about if you can just remember to let go of the past cycles, the things from your past that didn't work for you, and if you can remember that you are blessed and safe and protected through this whole situation, that's going to work out a lot of magic for you, and you do believe in the power of your own magic. So now let's look at what's going on in your romantic love life. And these are just brief and quick updates. If you want to talk about your own personal situation, that's where the personal readings come into play where you can get a 555 one question quick quick and to the point answer or you can um put 111 dollars for a full reading and we can go into depth on pretty much whatever you want so let's see what is the romantic situation for the monkeys at this time we have the six of wands romantic situation did you receive some flowers are you receiving some recognition? Is somebody really valuing you and appreciating you? I feel like right now um, people are appreciating you. I feel like for some of you, this person from your past that came back 
came back to say, oh, baby, now that you've been gone, I know what I was missing. How are you feeling about this? How is the monkey feeling about this situation? Okay, how you're feeling is the chance to have this rebirth. So some of you, you're getting this recognition from your partner and you're like, this is exactly the type of stuff that I wanted to hear. And so the fun part about this is this person picked up on that vibration that you needed this recognition. And so now that you're getting it, it's helping you make some decisions. You, at some point you had said before this, if they don't give me the recognition for all that I've been doing, at this time, between this time and this time, or on this special date that signifies something for me, then I'll be done. I'll be done. Because they're not noticing. But lo and behold, you were looking for recognition. And be careful what you go looking for because you just might get it. So now you say, I might just hold on to this. I might just hold on to this. But let's see what you need to know about the situation. What does my monkey need to know? My monkey viewer, what do you need to know? Okay, here it is. You need to know that it's so important for you to go on to what really fulfills you. So if this relationship is fulfilling you in a new way, then take it. But if the decision that you were brought because of the recognition you got wasn't satisfactory, it's time to cut things off. It's time for you to make some decisions, important decisions, based off of what is being shown to you. And to get what you want, you've got to let go of what you don't want. And that's an important thing for you to know. And so the universe is here asking you, is this what you want? And you, for your part, your best course of action is to look for opportunities. Look for new opportunities. Um, I feel like if you're ex expecting for somebody that's going to bring you uh, roses and... They're bringing you thorns. Well, yeah, that puts you in a place of decision. And this is all about you and your own emotional mastery. This is a, for some of you, this is a relationship that has to do with the King of Cups, which is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And if that's the case, I feel like um, you're going to make a decision. Some of you will decide, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and stick with this person. We both had some hard times and we can both do better and I'm willing to do better with this person. And romantically speaking, I'm still learning how to be myself and own my power within these relationships, but you're definitely in this place where you're filling your power. And if you wanted to bring somebody back into your life that was a water sign, I'm picking up on a strong Pisces energy that you're, going, that you're attracting. This was in your what you need to know. Princeton and Quentin, please be quiet and go sit down. Grandma's recording a video and you're being rude. I feel like um, with this person coming in, uh, take your wish. If you really wish for this person to come in so y'all can work the relationship out on another level, you have it to do it because you got the Uru's um, rune. And this is saying strength. This is a strength that you have to... See the outcome according to what you had set out for, according to your intentions, according to your belief. And even on your way to receiving that, you have all the strength you need to go through this journey to get yourself there. So utilize your strength. So this is also knowing when to speak and when not to speak. Knowing what to accept and what, do what doesn't work for you to accept. And while the babies are so high vibration, I'm hearing it's so important for us to hold our vibration. And is this person going to be beneficial for your vibration or are they going to cause you to choose to lower your vibration? And if you do choose to lower your vibration, are you choosing to lower your vibration? Because you know you can get through any situation and come out strong and you know you can learn and you know you can benefit yourself. Because sometimes you will choose a playground. Sometimes you will choose that challenging relationship because you need a bit of a challenge at the time. So where are you? What are you going to choose? If you need a personal reading to help with some of the options on the table, go to my website. I have a lot of things to offer you. Go check the website out anyway at lphtarot.com.
That's L P H Tarot.com. As in love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course, me and mine. Until next time. I'm going to do one more. One more? Yep. I need.